All right, here we go. We got the uh, car manufacturers, brand names, whatever they are. I really wish you could skip this stuff. I mean, it's just... It really is only cool the first couple of times you ever start up the game. I haven't played this for a while, but I've played it a handful of times before. Alright, here we go. Um, hang on a second. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up. Good enough. That's my equivalent of using a clapboard. Like, uh, I guess in the old days of shooting movies, the, um, the video and the audio were recorded separately, and then you'd have to mix them and sync them up together in the editing studio when you're, like, physically working with film. And, uh, so I did that thing with the menu because I'm recording my voice separately using one program and screen recording the video with another program, and I'll have to sync it back up in a video editor. So, yeah, I just I won't show that again, I guess. Let's see, what can I say? I am, uh, first of all, I'm trying improv, voice over, voice recording, whatever. This is why my voice doesn't sound as, uh, clean. I have these awkward pauses. I'm saying, uh, in the middle of sentences. I'm just kind of winging it, seeing what happens, trying improv for once, instead of reading off of a script. And this is Jack, by the way, our main character in Need for Speed The Run, which, um, I haven't played all the Need for Speed games. I haven't played a lot of them, actually, but I get the feeling this is kind of, since I haven't played all of them, I don't want to say unique, but unusual in the sense that you have a story-driven game with a main character and all that. Usually it's just, you got the cars, and the gameplay is as good as the racing experience, anyways. So, um, I mean... I mean, that's still the case here. Like, if the racing sucks, the gameplay experience sucks, it's not like the story is gonna save it, but you have the story nonetheless. And you can probably tell what's happening now. He's been beaten up, kidnapped, knocked unconscious. He's about to be executed, in a sense. And here we go, we're gonna actually start gameplay now. And it's one of those, I don't know what you call it, like, quick reaction time, uh, button pressing things. Which, I don't care for, but I don't know if I find them as annoying as most people. Maybe it depends on how it's done, or, I don't know if there are any, if there are really that many different ways of doing it, but maybe it depends more on how often it's done instead. Shit, I should turn the volume down before recording this. I'm listening to it through earbuds, but it sounds a bit loud, and I'm worried I'm gonna, like, talk too loudly into the microphone by subconsciously compensating like that. I thought I turned the subtitles on, you piece of shit. Uh, oh, I know, I had to, like, I'm sorry, I, ah, crap, whatever. I had to, uh, I wanted to reinstall the game, because I wasn't quite sure it was working right. Alright. And also I wanted to clear out any uh, previous times I'd played it. I don't know what this game does for set shit. Uh, save game stuff. Oh, god damn it. 
I'll give you one thing. I mean, it's not just racing. I mean, there's avoiding... Well, hang on, I won't spoil it. They'll do it in a second, I'm sure. This game does succeed in providing an adrenaline rush, though. Yeah, there we go. They're, they, like, sh literally shoot at you. They are determined to just kill this poor guy. I guess he owes the money or something. I don't know. I don't recall that being explained all that well, but that's not really that important. You just want to race and win. That's all there is to it. Fuck off. Oh, now there's three of them? Jesus. All right, hang on. Oh yeah, there's this. Some dramatic shit happening. Okay, made it out alive. And... Yeah, she's like a, uh... I guess you could say a secondary character, but... I guess Jack's the only main character, but Sam's a pretty important character nonetheless. You just don't see her as often. You don't see Jack often either, because you're driving the car from a third-person view from behind. I don't know. But yeah, she's here. She's kind of hot. Word is you made a wrong turn, Jack. No one ever got a head sit on their hands, how did they, Sam? Nobody from our block, at least. You know I can help you straighten that out. And my end? What you do best. What you do better than anyone. The camera follows that guy. I've never understood if that was important or not. Or if that was, like, a, uh, a fucking... You knew the answer before I even walked to the door. Like, gonna... What am I trying to say? I suck at improv. Well, I don't know. I haven't tried it, really, but it's like... The race is from San Fran to New York. The best racers ever assembled. I mean, the guy just walks through, and it's like, is that important for any reason? And give you a ten percent cut. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ten percent? The purse is twenty-five million. Do the math. How in the fuck does somebody afford to uh, put up a prize like that? I mean, it, it's like couple hundred racers, they're not all giving a, a proportional amount to contribute to that jackpot or anything. It's not like millions of people paying a few bucks for a lottery that somebody ends up getting several million of because it's all accumulated. I don't... I don't... I don't know. I guess a suitcase had money in it. Probably. Maybe weed, who knows? This will keep us in touch. Now we have to get you a car. Cars. I got covered. Yeah, I guess he has his own garage of a few vehicles he likes. The M Bar Catero. It's Spanish? Well, I don't know. San Francisco. Okay, that I recognize. <sighs> I guess maybe it's Spanish for embarking? It's the beginning, of course. So I've always gone for the far left, not the BMW there, just cause, let's see, 190 miles an hour, easy handling. Normal handling, very difficult handling, no thanks, these are blocked, cause, yeah. Let's see. 
I mean, this technically has faster acceleration, but this only has 0.1 second slower acceleration. I don't know why you wouldn't choose it. There was some other stat there I didn't understand or, or didn't read closely enough. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have to worry about ice for a little while. Checkpoint resources, or limited resource, resets, or limited whatever. Yeah, you can continue if you mess up, but not an unlimited, not indefinitely, I don't know. Jack? You ready? I'm ready. Locked and loaded. There's over 200 other drivers and about 3,000 miles of asphalt between here and New York. She said ass. Sounds good to me. We're up. Get to Knob Hill or you'll miss the race start. You unlock Nitrous later, but I don't know why he doesn't have it already. If he's got a garage full of sports cars already. See, if that were scripted, I wouldn't have ended two separate sentences with the word already in a row. Yeah, this police scanner is going on, which kind of adds to the atmosphere, which I enjoy. Makes it a little more dramatic. Some cars, they just missed them. Oh my god, the fucking music. Oh, Jesus Christ, hang on. Yeah, okay, I'm restarting the event, because when I reinstalled this, I forgot to turn off the game music. It's like third-party licensed stuff. Alright, here we go. At least I caught that early. I didn't say much of importance. Of it. I did mention that I, um. I like the fact that you can hear the, uh, police scanner. That just kind of adds to the, uh. dramatic atmosphere, I guess. In my opinion, anyways. I think it makes it a little more exciting. Like. Yeah, you're not just racing, but you're doing something, uh. Taboo and against the law, and uh, it just raises the stakes. See, I don't think you even have to pass anyone here, you just have to get to a checkpoint called Knob Hill uh, in a certain amount of time, which is. Okay, that's fine. Here we are. Those checkpoints, finish lines. Now the cutscene took control for me before I got to it. But they're marked with the flares. Okay, Las Vegas, top 150, can do. First, you gotta get the hell out of here. Now, I really wish. Um, Damn, alright. It's alright. Uh, let's see. What was I gonna say? I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, so much for trying improv. What the hell was I gonna say? Yeah, I know. Uh, there's like third-party uh, licensed music that's used from various artists. 
And then there's, of course, the uh, music that the game, that was made specifically for the game. It's like a film experience mix or something to that effect. I, I don't know what they called it. The heck was it called? Race experience mix, film experience mix. Yeah, okay, sure. I wish I could disable the uh, third-party music and get the uh, uh, music made specifically for the game, just like instrumental film experience music to uh, play with that third-party music, because it really does sound good. It adds to the dramatic atmosphere quite nicely. It, they did a good job with it. Fuck. Passed. I'm not even in the top 200, I'm way outside of it. Well, not way outside, but... Uh, let's see. Yeah, again, I don't think I even have to pass anyone, necessarily. I just have to reach a checkpoint within a certain period of time. Now, one thing I like, you see the peripheral vision? Like, the edges of the screen, it flashes blue and red, too, when a cop car is close behind you. Or, in this case, in front of you. That's, that's a nice touch I really like, actually. And, uh, boy, he's not doing much. Just you pull over. Minding my own business. I'm not hitting any. The fuck? Why did that happen? I just tapped him, didn't I? That's some. Okay. They should explain something, but it would reference. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010, which I'm not going to have uploaded before this. I'm in 205th position. There's so much stuff going on, I don't... See, now you're hearing the in-game music. I wish I could hear that during the race, too, without third-party music. The reason I don't want the third-party music... Okay, now I have nitrous, that's weird. Like, I just left the garage. You're telling me that... I unlocked nitrous after I drive ten miles away from the garage? That's when it's installed? It, just install it at the first... whatever. Point is, I don't want the th uh, third-party music from the other artists, because, you know, YouTube audio, copyright strikes, stuff like that. Okay, we're continuing here. I don't even know when the... how far you get to the end of the first stage. Shoot, I've been at this for... Well, it says 8.33, but probably over 10 minutes, because I have did other stuff. I'm sure they're not counting the, uh... time that introductory cutscene story played out. Well, I don't know, really. Uh, uh. Oh, here. It's a nice change of scenery. What? Speak up! Las Vegas! Top 150 or we're out! Okay, got it! Are the people organizing this race, like, tracking the cars? Like, how do they know somebody doesn't arrive at the finish line before everyone else when they really just took an airplane there? Yeah, I was aware of that, thank you. Gain 10 positions... Uh, okay, I have 6 miles that I have to do that in. Sorry if you're outside of the United States, I'm just not as familiar with kilometers. I should be, because in a, in a way I do prefer the metric system, it's just... It just seems so much organized and makes more sense, but I'm not used to it, unfortunately. I don't like that, but whatever. Let's see, I've already passed two. Oh, shit. Alright, alright, alright. We're alright. We're okay. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, I thought he was going to T-bone me on the main road as I crossed it from the end of one shortcut to another. Oh, I forgot I had nitrous. Fuck off. Oh, dirty pass. Well, I'm not really ex uh, worried about experience points. I right, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Got nitrous, faster acceleration. Yeah, clean pass 
gets you 50 experience points. A dirty pass, meaning you actually hit them to pass them, or even just scrape them accidentally, gets you 25. I don't see why I should care, but whatever. It was a close call. Oh, shit. Well, I'm just rapidly passing these guys. A little over halfway done with this part. Damn it. Get out of my way. And now I'm shit. Come on. I do love uh, weaving in and out of traffic, though. Um, there have been games I've played... Oh god, Test Drive 6 comes to mind. That's a terrible racing game. Uh, that's something I could do in the future, perhaps. A review of that. Or gameplay video of that, whatever. They're not really formal reviews, I'm just kind of ranting at them. Unprofessionally at times, but... Uh, the comparison I wanted to make with Test Drive 6 was... You can be driving through New York City, and in the space of one mile... Or a couple kilometers if you prefer uh, it's like you only see three cars on the streets of New York City <laughs> it's like I, I get it you can't have the streets jam-packed with traffic because you, you, you can't race through them effectively you gotta have gaps in the cars to weave in and out of but there's only like three on the road at a time it's just they could have used more and I guess what I'm saying is Need for Speed the Run did a better job in that respect. I mean, leaving San Francisco, there were quite a few cars you had to wave through. Uh, the streets were pretty sparsely packed with cars. Oh, speed run great. But it's like when we got to the bridge and onto the highway, there were more of them, which seems like it should be the opposite, but whatever. I guess the uh, cars should be uh, less... Uh, densely packed on slower moving roads when there are more turns. Highways, however, you got faster speeds because you got longer straight or straightish areas to work with. And like I said, weaving out of the traffic is fun, but other than that, I really don't care for these time attack things, whatever they're called. Let's see, I don't think I've crashed yet. I mean, I've hit cars, sure, but I haven't, uh, like, been forced to reset. Not from crashing, anyways. I reset the damn thing, because I forgot to turn the in-game music off, but that's my fault. I have no one to blame but myself. I knew ahead of time I was supposed to do that. Uh, you know, I, I really don't know. I Like, EA generally seems good about letting you do let's plays. Why is that truck in the left hand lane? That's the fast lane. But you have, uh, I guess, even if the game uses third party music from different artists, they still have, they don't release the copyright just because the game uh, uses it for the purposes of let's play videos that you either monetize or just flat out upload. I don't know, but I'm not gonna mess with that. And thus, we get no music. Even though I'm sure the music made specifically for the game, the theatrical mix is just fine to use. Or to have in monetized videos anyways. I don't really see the point using nitrous except for uphill areas. I'm practically at top speed already. Top speed was 190. I'm practically in the mid 180s now. Certainly enough room to maneuver, but not too much room that it doesn't feel like a bit of a challenge. I selected normal difficulty. I wonder if the uh, traffic density changes with uh, difficulty settings. Probably should. If I were designing a game, I'd do that. Alright. And, uh, some bit of music came back for a few seconds. Okay, so I had to speed wildly for that bit, but am I just 
driving normal highway speeds for- Look at those windmills, like, time just stopped, it just completely froze. The windmills are still spinning in the background under the far right. Alright. Yeah, continue the run. There's no one in my auto log. I just restarted it and didn't connect it to anything. Oh, was the... Let me see here. I'm hearing this music. That probably means the stage is over. Yes, it is. So that'll be the end of this video. I don't know what that does. Like, I don't care. Come on. Yeah, I have no friends. Not here. <laughs>